and it won't be so just doing it, maybe. Yeah, I think so. You're right. Totally right. Thank you. You saved it, because otherwise I would have been... It's right? All right, now tell me about what you were telling me before. What was it about your father? And his nose. What's the many questions? And the Garcias, baby. Yeah, and Don Zing. And Don Zing. Well, anyway, you know the story. You know the story? Me yeah, too. Why the story? I don't know the story. But my sister Carmen, I'm born Halloweens. You born Halloweens? Yeah. Okay. And she just met my father's dad. So did she just started using the shit. But I wasn't born in She was doing what shit? The Halloweens. The Halloweens? Yeah, oh. but I wasn't born in this. You wasn't even born yet? No, no, no. They started dipping into having. How old is your sisters? She's born Christmas Eve exactly the year. So you're holiday babies? Halloween, Christmas Eve, that freak. That's like devil and God. She was born to take to their own. And oh, oh. Totally. I they see. They said she'd be slow behind that. That was some antipathy on that one. How did that yeah. make you feel, baby? That she was born, I didn't know until I was older. Really? Now, what made... And she was so anti-drugs a lot. Now, did you... Not until she got home. <laughs> That's another story. I love you, Carmen. I love you, Carmen. It's not really... What... Now, did, did you always want to be a cross-dresser? I can't. <laughs> well, you know. No, the best drag I do on is in Tails. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Now, that's the ultimate drag. You know. So, yeah. You've done it. Yeah, you know that's Night right. of Thousand Gowns. I know. And you be the man. The, oh, really? That's drag. And then I let them went to the black parties in the outfits. Uh -huh. <laughs> in the black parties? In the black ties? Yes, I left the wall door, but I would totally black party in black tails. In a big K-hole. Oh. Then what do you do in the k -holes? I got better. How'd you get out? I was mad. It was the case. It was the answer. It was the answer. Does it make you sad? It me that whole time. I, I mean, I did that since I was 15. It's the only drug I almost died on. How's that? When Jimmy got me in my first apartment when I was 17, he came over prior to having to go to work with the parrot. Jimmy so. Cabrera? No, Jimmy Murray. Oh, I see. Yeah, one of those tycoons. Very good man, though. The only father figure I really have. I love you. God anyway, bless song. So she left me the two grand vial. Uh -huh. And I went to town, girl. And I tell you, I felt myself slipping, 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 slipping. It's a true story. Slipping, slipping. And I was just going with it. And I guess it must have been my breathing that was stopping or whatever. And out of nowhere, girl, nowhere. I mean, they were, Joey! And it just smoked me out and there was nobody there. And that's how I know you got guardian angels, honey. That's it. Because they, they were not ready for me at the time, but I was gone. Because they ain't ready for you, girl. They were, I was ready to go, I was gone. And the light, it was just drifting right into that dark room and the light. This is like a Barbara Walters it's city so true, interview. I'm not making one 17 at my apartment 3 right on um, 8th Avenue and 56th Street. Yes, I did. My own studio for 550 and I thought it was, I thought it was high. That was high, but we were too probably. I no, that. but I couldn't get it because I was too young. Yeah. He had to co-sign, honey. Probably had I known, honey, but what a palimony suit I would have had. Yeah. Not to mention that I was 17. I don't think it was illegal. But, you know, that, that's another thing. Okay. And I didn't get that way because he taught me so much. He really.